Howdy. We are team 14204, the Super Screen Brothers, and today we're going to talk about our history with Go Build Them. Just to start off, in our first season, um, our team is in its third year, so this is our first year robot. Um, it is a tank chassis, and we built it using the FTC Master Kit, and a combination of Omni wheels with a Rhino gear in the middle worked great because it was just a simple design for our first year and it, it allowed us to have good turning ability and it also allowed us to keep good friction. So for last year, Skystone, we used the Go Build This Great Fit chassis, but we didn't like how sometimes these uh, bevel gears would come loose and so we added some little, you might be able to see them, green, some little green spaces that help hold the bevel gears in, space, in place. So even if it, the uh, screws do come loose, it stays solid and it can still turn the wheels. And in our second robot from our second season, you can kind of tell that it's a little more developed, um, we added in 8 millimeter rec shafts and we also added um, thrust bearings to reduce the friction due to the bevel gears. So this year, Go Build this new version of the Strafer chassis. Uh, a few of the things that Go Builder changed was that they made it so that these shafts have some nice C clips, so that instead of having this big, uh, whatever it's called, I forgot what it's called, things that go on the end to help hold the shaft, instead of having that. It, we have a nice little, all that's uh, just just this little tiny bit of a belt, no, bearing on the inside. So it's still nice and solid. And they also switched to using miter gears to, so that we can have a look at one to one miter gears, so that instead of the bevel gears, giving us a uh, uh, gearing down our wheel, it doesn't change, and so that way our robot can be just a teeny bit faster. We also, it also removes the need to have any spaces in it, because this can be right up against the wall, and it uses the, and it's held in by the automatic gear itself. Another thing is that they improve the wheels themselves. We really like it how these wheel wheels are about three quarters slimmer, so that no, yeah, so that it help. We have a little bit more room to on the sides for when we put our robot in the sizing box. And also, they made a few improvements, such as uh, C clips on the ends of these bearings, and rollers instead of having nuts and and if that helps so that and if you clamp the if you tighten down the screws too much it would lock up the rollers and you won't be able to they won't be able to roll and you won't be able to strafe anymore um and the last thing is that these rollers are darker and so that they don't get as dirty when you're using them, as you can see with this, these wheels. Alright, thank you for watching, and we will see you next time.